Hi there, my name is James Pree. I'm with uh, the mobile app development team with Nerds on Site, and I wanted to show everyone the uh, BlackBerry 10 Cascades uh, tapped pane control because it seems to be throwing everyone for a loop. Uh, this will be really quick and easy. Let's go ahead and create a, a new project. Uh, it's going to be a Cascades project. I'm going to make the standard empty project because, uh, well, I mean, I do have a tab pane uh, template, but where's the uh, the learning process if we choose one of those? So I'm going to go ahead and choose a standard empty project. I'm going to go ahead and give it a name. And uh, let's turn on our preview. Uh, it always likes to be nice and slow over here. It's just compiling a bit. Alrighty, there's our preview. Let me go ahead and close that. And I can see that I have a plain old screen, but I'm going to remove that top level object. I'm going to keep the import uh, line as it is, though. And I'm going to put in its place a tabbed pane. Uh, let's jump into that tabbed pane, and I'm going to go ahead and create uh, a series of tabs. Uh, notice I have one tab here now, uh, and there's no bar that shows up. However, once I add another tab, uh, suddenly my bar does, in fact, show up. So we're doing pretty good. I'm going to add one more tab, just for good measure. Inside of each of these tabs, um, it's going to be expected that it has a title, and I'm going to call that uh, the hub. Second one here, I'm going to call this uh, notifications. Third one, I'm going to call text messages. So now I have myself a uh, nice little uh, bottom bar here, and I can even preview what's inside of each of these ones by jumping to the tapped pane control and taking a look to see the sidebar state. I can switch over to full, and there's my different tabs. In order to control what's inside of each tab, each of these needs a content. Um, if your UI is very simple, you can just choose a page or navigation pane if you need a, a stack of screens or even some more tabbed panes. Uh, I haven't tried that, but let's just go ahead and choose a page. Inside of the page, I'm just going to put in a label. And this is the hub page. And likewise, within each of these tabs, I can create that content. And this is uh, my text messages pane. Um, so there's your different page objects. If I go back to my tab pane and change my active tab to... Um, Oh, well that didn't quite work out the way I thought it would. I can also show the tabs on the bottom if I want to, um, but it looks a lot nicer when it's uh, tucked in like that. Actually, you know what, if I uh, gave these an ID as well. I wonder if now I would be able to uh, specify my active tab. There we go. There's my hub tab. There's my notification tab. And here's my SMS tab. Looks pretty good, hey? Well, that's very simple. And I hope it helps you out. Thank you much, and keep coding.